Release the empty magazine, grab a fresh magazine, insert the magazine, tap the mag if it hasn't been inserted all the way, then send the slide home. In Reloader, you have to perform all the aforementioned actions manually. It's frustrating at times, but the way it makes you want to pull your hair out is part of the fun. One moment, it makes you feel as though you're John Wick, but most of the times, as you are learning the ropes, you get to consume a ton of humble pie, fuck me sideways, and come to an understanding as to why you're not in the lucrative business of contract killing. Story, I guess there is a story. The simple version of it is, you wake up in the HQ of a gang, you're being interrogated by the gang's boss as to how you got into their building, when suddenly a mystery girl appears and saves you from a certain faith. The girl tells you that she's there by happenstance and that she's got a gift for you. A gift that might save you. It's sort of an injection, it seems, and what it does is to instantly transform an average show into basically John Wick. So does it happen? Not exactly. The girl tells you that the injection worked only partially. You're still a loser, but you do have a gun and a few magazines that the boss had on him. And that's about it. You're on your own to make the escape. As you go through the levels, you'll learn that crouching behind an object not only saves you from the storm of incoming bullets, but it also miraculously stops you from bleeding out if you were bleeding from gunshot wounds to begin with. You can use the concentration skill to make one-shot headshot kills, but using the skill drains the ability points and you have to resort to raining bullets down range as it recharges. Tactical reloading and indexing the magazine is a thing in this game. You have to count the bullets you're firing as it only holds 14. Reloading a half-empty magazine doesn't magically transfer the unused bullets into the other magazines in your waistband. So move the full magazines into pouch 1, 2, and 3, then place the empty magazine in pouch number 4. Use a system. You can also hold a full magazine in one hand, then do a quick reload when you run out of bullets. At times, the casing gets stuck in the ejection port, and yeah, you have to manually rack the slide to clear the chamber and to have a fresh round ready to feast on melons. Talking about failure to eject, the countless of times that I had the casing get stuck in the ejection port, time and time again, I struggled to realize what was happening even though there were only two possible reasons, either empty mag or stuck casing. My brain went into overdrive every time the gun jammed, I saw enemies charging and so I struggled to get the gun going again, then I either got shot or got stabbed by burly man. It was through this game that I realized why special forces carry tactical knives on every mission, or perhaps the knives are used to open MRE cans, but to me it definitely seemed useful in a close quarter combat situation. It took me several tries to pass level 1, then I had to go out for a dental appointment. Escape, exit, then the main screen came on, that's when I realized this game doesn't save. Aw, oh, fuck me. You get surrounded by the boss and his goons at the end of level 3. After several pathetic attempts, I learned that shooting out the lights makes your enemies blind to your location, but you can see just fine because the game says so. At the final level of the demo, your mind becomes corrupted by whatever that was injected to you by the mystery girl, to which it eventually incapacitates you. Before your life is extinguished completely, the mystery girl tells you that you were merely part of an experiment. That the injection isn't ready for prime time, then she lets you sleep on the cold pavement forever and ever. Fear not, however, the company the mystery girl works for has made the payment to your wife as promised. You're done in this life like you're finished, but you'll sleep peacefully knowing that your wife will forever be happy with a new man and a boatload of money in her bank account, which is yours, I remind you. This is just a demo and it seems there will be many more test subjects to come in later versions. It's a simple concept, but a lot of fun if you give it a chance. The demo is still available on Steam as of the date of making this video. 
Go give it a try and suffer in joy as I have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cross out.